All right, guys, welcome back to the channel once again. And today we're gonna talk about this custom note, like you can see over here. I'm gonna take off this, it's gonna open this uh, color chooser box, and inside that, you can change the color of the canvas. So, same thing we're gonna do, and we're gonna copy and paste the code from here. And I will guide you everything into this, like how the code is running, and how the functions are running into this, and how this thing is happening over here. So I won't uh, waste the time on writing the code by my own. So I will just copy the code from here and paste it. So if you see this one, so I have already written this as kind of random string. And you can see I'm returning over here. And I have already made the component. So everything is set up. Just I need to copy the code from here and paste it there. OK. So what, what I'm going to do, I'm just copying it from here. So let's do this. So let's start. So this line is I have already. So I'm just going to this import. So React flow and import it over here. So these are the some components, inbuilt components of React flow render that we are importing over here. So whenever we need to, we we gonna work on this library. This React flow is compulsory to import because this is the main component that gonna be returned into your JSX. Okay. So let's uh, just copy this part as well. So we're going to copy this part at the end because this is a custom component for this color chooser box. So we're going to make it at the end of this. Before that, just copy the whole thing that's written over here. So this thing, control C and control V. So import dot slash index CSS. So I have index CSS over here. So I'm just going to type extra dot over here. That's it. So you can see now error has been gone. And next thing, just copy these states. Control C and uh, Control V. So let me tell you about this. So this is the React Flow instance in which we're going to save the instance of the React Flow elements. Inside of that, we're going to set the node data and edges data. So if you see over here, so these data we're going to save into that node data and oh, how many edges, like connection points, and how many nodes are there. And also BG color, this one. So the BG color would going to be like, uh, whatever you are changing into the state from here like from here whatever you are changing into this this is gonna get this modal gonna be returning a value to you and in, in, into that input box and we are changing the state from that okay on the callback function okay so that's the thing we are doing so normally we can do this but doing into this it's little critical so let's check this out so if you see the on change method of this color to the box is inside the use effect method so i'm going to just copy this part from here and i'm going to paste it away from the use effect because i don't want to be run that function or not or something so no need to do that and now I'm going to make this use effect function again because I need to set the data. So I have already copied this part over here. So let's copy the rest of the things inside this use effect. So let's do this. So this is on the on of use effect because it is it has empty array and then let's talk a bit so what it does it just set the element data into this element state and you can see the multiple nodes are over here and also this nodes that we're gonna change because you can see the selector type so this type belongs to the custom node so which any type like any specific type you want to define into this uh, data set so you can do it so they have defined selector node and same selector node if you see over here that we are using for defining into the node type 
and that gonna be custom selector node that that gonna be separate component that we're gonna build it at the end okay so now just copy this thing also so these are some callback function if you see element remove like whenever you will delete the nodes into the canvas so this function gonna be called on connect whenever you make the connection between the nodes then the function gonna be called so just copy these uh, paste it down below like this and you see so this is for on load like whenever your component will mount or there will be something change into your react flow so this react flow instance gonna be called and gonna be load your instance again and will make your canvas into the fit view so that's why this react flow instance has been called over here okay so now the last thing is that we may return this csx into our component but after that we're gonna see the result okay so let's remove this and control v so if you see i have already now i have returned this uh, we are left with some elements over here so maybe this thing is not coming which one this component is left over here so now we're gonna create a component over here custom node selector so we need custom sorry custom selector okay dot js and now we're gonna copy that whole thing inside this so as you copy i will guide you okay control c and control v and we're gonna replace this memo part because we don't want to use this so memo is a like react memo or something first two and just remove this part from here and remove this part from here so just make it export default default custom node selector okay so now if you see custom node selector so you can see this handle component over here so that is just because we need to define the targets into this so inside this handle component you can see there are three handle components over here so what we do handle means your these things Okay, let's reload this file is not working because we haven't we are getting error just because of this on load is not defined so let me check why on load is not defined i think we have missed a function over here on load function okay so we have missed this function that's why the error was coming and just copy it down below over here okay and reload this again we have to ensure your node types it's not defined node types okay so we have comment, commented this node types over here okay and let's also grab that uh just grab that this control c and control v custom color selector node so just may apart from color selector make it custom node selector okay let's leave it as it is so this is what it was required and let's reload this so you can see so something look like this and if i would change this it cannot change so let me guide you into the code how it is working so handle means like if you see these handles handle components so what it is this like these thing so if you see one two three three node points over here like one four and you need to define over there like which one is target and which one is source so if you see this handle is represent like into that node which one you are making custom so you need to define like this this handle type is target position should be left 
like this should be represent into the left side and this is a target like some another node can join on this node but this point cannot join get joined to another node like a connection you can not start the connection from here you can just end the connection over here and also if you see console so these are kind of after the on connect method this is the callback function okay and same thing working over here so if this is a source like you can start the connection from here position like which position should the top right the bottom left or something and also you need to provide the id to them as well and you can style it as well so these time thing happening and also we can define into the middle of that so this is a kind of component like we are rendering over here so inside that component multiple things are going on you can choose to do multiple things apart from these node points as well so you can see this label is coming over here and also this input is coming up so you can see the data object is also coming so data object like you can pass it like this so if you see into this state this data object so you can pass the data object like this so i am the, so they are passing a function and also as well as the color so it's it is extracting the data point over here and you can see the color so this is getting passed into the customer selector as a prox and you will get the data from prox and you can pass it inside that node okay so once you change so this callback function gonna be called into this input box and it will set the state over here it will call the onChange method and whenever you will call this onChange method this will gonna set the state and it's gonna change the color of the canvas okay so that is the thing only happening over here so you can see so what we gonna do we're gonna play with that and we're gonna uh, let, so let's try to make uh, another node as a custom node so what i'm going to do i'm going to make this node i'm just going to change the text or something over here so i'm going to make this node as a custom node so let's try it out okay so just uh, define over here like select a node as well as select a node as one two so just make a copy of this node okay copy of this component and paste it control v so you can see the copy has been created just rename it selector one okay custom node selector one and into the reactor over here control add custom node selector one well, and also just copy it and paste it over here okay. so you can see this is good. there are two node points are coming custom node selector one okay okay custom node selector one dot js okay so only one so you can see uh so this component is coming over here custom node selector one and if you go inside of that so this is that good and now what we need to do we need to do some changes so i'm going to remove this input box from here that is not okay i'm not going to call this function and also i'm going to remove this thing because i don't want to do anything here so i'm just going to pass this label as well okay so just change the ids of these so I'm going to change this ID A1, B1. Okay. And let's check this out if it's working or not. Just pass this custom node selector to another node type. So I'm going to make this one. It's not this is selector node one. Control C. Selector node one. And let's check this one. So if you see the node has been customized but we need to design it by our own because this is design node and this is we haven't written any kind of styling for this so that's why it is coming like this but you can see the label has been changed and node two extra node points are coming over here 
and if you will try to connect this node by this node it won't gonna be connected because these are the source point so source point to source point you can't connect you can connect the source point with the destination only so if i will try to connect this point to this so you can see the connection has been made because this is the destination point like this is the target point and this is the source point so that's the thing you can do and that's it from this video and i hope you uh, have understood something into this and if you if you got something just let me know into the comment box and also thank you so much for watching i will meet you in the next video